Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss McKay. I'm so glad that we get to be together virtually today. Um, happy Easter. I know that you guys are church calendar pros, but did you know that there are seven weeks in Easter on our church calendar? So it's not only last week, but we get to celebrate this joy and life and abundance for seven more weeks. So all that fasting and praying and going without that we did during Lent prepared us for Holy Week and the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus. And that resurrection tells us that God's love for us is bigger than anything in the world. Not sin or a virus or death is bigger than God's love for us. Isn't that great news? So now we get to celebrate that news together for seven weeks and I'm really excited. Before we jump into our lesson, I would like to say a couple house housekeeping things. Um, first, we had a great Zoom meeting on Wednesday with a bunch of our friends. Let's see who was there. Oliver, Callum, Genevieve. There were a bunch of you guys there and we had a great time just hanging out, checking on each other, seeing each other's faces and laughing together. There were Legos and dogs and it was awesome. And I hope that more of you can join us this Wednesday for our weekly Zoom meeting. Also, it's Oliver's eighth birthday this week. So I would like to wish you a very happy birthday. I hope you have a great birthday this week and we love you and we miss you. Um, the last thing I'd like to mention is that we still have the Facebook group, Junior Youth of Hopwood. Um, it's a private group where your parents can help you post some of your art or the things you're creating. Um, there are some Easter coloring pages that I sent out to your parents. So since we're celebrating Easter for seven whole weeks, um, you could color some of those or make your own creations. Make something, well, you can make anything you want, but if you would like some guidance, I would tell you to make something that symbolizes the power of God's love the wonderful and full and joyous life that we get to live in God. Um, I think that that's all of the housekeeping things that I have today. So I'm going to jump into our lesson. Now, our lesson this week comes from the Gospel of John. So I'm just going to read it for you and then we'll talk about it a little bit. And um, that'll wrap up our video for this week. So here we go. Jesus appears to the disciples. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After this, he showed them his hands and his side. And then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them, and he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We've seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of his side, I will not believe. A week later, the disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. He said, reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you not believed because you've not seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet choose to believe. The word of the Lord. So usually, when adults teach this lesson, they talk about how we're the ones who have not seen Jesus but still believe in him. 
And so we receive that blessing from Jesus that he says at the end of the passage. And I think that is true, but I would also like to put a little twist on this passage. When Thomas doubts that the disciples had seen Jesus, Jesus comes back and proves to Thomas that the disciples really had seen Jesus. And you know what? Jesus doesn't meet Thomas's doubts or questions um, with negativity. Jesus meets Thomas's doubts and questions with love and reassurance and acceptance. And so I think the lesson that we have from this scripture here today is that if we have doubts or questions, Jesus understands them and he meets us with love and acceptance, ready to help. And he sends adults into our lives, like our parents or Sunday school teachers or myself, who can help you and answer your questions and doubts with love and acceptance. And so I think that's a really great message that we can learn from the disciple Thomas, that even when we are unsure, even when we're uncertain, Jesus will meet us with love. And that's what I want us to learn today. I hope that you guys are doing well, that you're being good helpers to your moms and your dads, grandparents, your family. I hope that you are being good students. And I hope that you're spending some time to um, exercise your body. That always makes us feel good. You're eating. Um, good food, you're drinking lots of water, you're getting plenty of good sleep, and you're taking good care of yourself. I hope that you're being good helpers to your brothers and sisters, and I am so excited for the day that we all get to be together again at church. Um, once again, happy birthday, Oliver. We are so thankful for you, and um, I love each of you very much. I miss you, and I'll see you soon. Have a great week. Happy Easter.